Hey guys, I'm Dayton with Ballistic Mischief, and today I'm going to be showing you three ways to bypass a dial lock. Let's get started. Okay, so for these three methods, really the only tools that you need are two wrenches. Pick the appropriate sized wrench for the lock that you're trying to pick. If it's a bigger lock, bigger wrenches. If it's a smaller lock, smaller wrenches. All right, method number one. What you're going to do is you're going to take your wrench and apply upward pressure at the same time you're going to take your other wrench you're going to smack it on the side of your lock until it pops open if you have um something bigger that you hit it with or you give it a more powerful blow first time it'll pop right off and your lock is still usable afterwards the only downside is you can get some scratches dents or marks around where you hit it but if you're just trying to breach it that's not a big deal these are like two bucks you can get at the store all right for the second method what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your first wrench you're gonna place it right here your second wrench is gonna go in and up and all you're doing is applying downward pressure with this wrench and keeping this wrench right where it needs to stay and that's it pops right up once again the lock is still usable right after that still will work all the mechanisms and everything are perfectly fine it's just applying upward pressure onto the metal arch and it pops right off okay the third and final method will pretty much destroy your lock it will render it unusable so if you're trying to be able to save the lock that you're trying to get into, this is not the method to try. First, you're gonna take and put your wrench on one side, take your other wrench on the other side, and then all you're gonna do is push them together. And when you push it together, right there, it's bending the metal to where you got enough room to pull the lock right out so as you can see there it did bend the metal a little bit which is why I said it renders your uh, lock as kind of useless because then I mean it just pops in and out but if you do need to breach a lock pretty fast this is the way to go all right guys thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you want to see more cool videos like this let me know in the comments if you want me to teach y'all how to pick or breach or get into any other kind of locks or boxes or safes or anything um yeah like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all next time